But let's focus on the value plays here. And we want to, if we want to jam in Nunez and O'Malley, we got to find a lot of value because again, fourteen dollars is more than eleven, but it's still not a whole lot on your average per fighter remaining. So. Are there good value plays available on the slate where you can feel comfortable jamming in both Nunes and O'Malley up there? And if so, who stands out to you for those value options? Well, comfort is always subjective, but I do have a few <laughs> I do have a few options that that we can certainly look at. I I think I'll start bottom up as far as the cheapest fighter that I'm looking at targeting a, a, a lot is a guy Brian Boom Kelleher. We've seen him before on a FanDuel slate. He fought in a fight night card about a month ago in Jacksonville. Um and when we looked there, uh, we saw him and he was on pace to give up 129 strikes to his opponent, Hunter Azure, before he actually knocked out Azure. Um, but you can see that defensively, he wasn't very sharp in that bout in that Azure's more of a wrestler. He was about to land 129 strikes on him. In comes Cody Stamen, who Cody Stamen's at $18 on FanDuel. One of one of the most interesting bantamweight prospects in that he normally fights at 135 pounds. This fight will be at 145 pounds likely because it'd be tough for Kelleher to cut to 135 on a month's notice, uh, probably pretty hard on his body and would significantly hurt his chances of winning the fight. Um, but so this will take place at 145. It's Stamen's first bout there. Certainly with Kelleher's defensive woes against Hunter Azure, Cody Stamen's much better as a striker than Hunter Azure was. So um, certainly I think there will be volume to be had. And you look what Kelleher did in that way. Kelleher threw plenty himself as well and actually found a path to a knockout finish. He's finished his last two fights as well. That's a guy I kind of want to target in this price range of somebody who has finishing upside both as, with a submission and a knockout and incredible volume that even if he takes a tough decision loss or maybe he's knocked out in the third round, he's got plenty of significant strengths and volume on the board. So I look at a guy like Kelleher, very versatile. Both these guys have over four significant strengths per minute. They're in that smaller 25-foot octagon that's going to force the pace a little bit. Um I certainly can see this as a spot where we target Kelleher um, with win with winning potential. Certainly Kelleher's a live dog in this fight. Um, and then the next guy I'm looking at is Maki P uh, Patolo at $13. Um, yeah, apologies to Maki if I if I messed up the pronunciation <laughs> of his last name there. But um, he's moving up to 185 pounds. We're seeing some fighters transitioning weight classes in this COVID environment. So that's been very interesting. But he'll move up. But normally I'm concerned about size of a fighter moving up. He'll actually have the smallest little bit of height and reach advantages on his opponent, Charles Bird. Bird, $18 in the FanDuel player pool. Um, but Patola's as active as they come. He's done 5.42 significant strikes per minute. Um, he's never attempted a takedown, so it's very clear what his strategy is. Very similar to Justin Gaethje, who we saw a few. Never attempted a takedown. He's trying to stand there and throw punches. That's that's a good thing from a fantasy perspective. And you look at Charles Bird, he'll definitely have an advantage on the ground, but can he even get it there? He's been knocked out in his last two fights, and he's going to see a high-volume striker here with Patolo. That can't be the most comfortable matchup for him. So relative to their odds to victory and, and a method of victory uh, prop in essentially what is a stylistic coin flip for me, will Bird have the advantage wrestling or Patolo striking? At only $13, I'm willing to take that coin flip versus what, versus landing on somebody like an Eddie Wineland at $10 or a Felicia Spencer at $13 that I don't believe have any chance to win their fight. Uh, Patolo plus 138 to get the win there against Bird, and then Kelleher plus 205 to win against Damon.